Nintendo presents Super Mario World. Yeah, Super Mario World. I'm just doing plain and simple Super Mario World, mainly because, I don't know, I just wanted to play it. Really, is what I wanted to do, so let's get going. One player games, we don't need no two players. Let that mother effer burn. Oh, I didn't get to jump high enough. Dinosaur Land. Dinosaur Land? Really? Dinosaur Land. That's what we're going with? Dinosaur Land? Dinosaur Land. Oh, it's Yoshi's house. Let's go see Yoshi. Who we don't know who that is yet, of course, at this point. Oh, okay, so we'll probably see him right near the end game. He probably doesn't have a big role in this game because obviously he's going to go out there and kick some serious ass. Let's go to Yoshi's Island 1. And I'll point out where the first place I ever died in Super Mario World. That guy. That guy right there killed me when I first played this game. Oddly enough, that bullet didn't kill me back in the day. How? Don't know. Don't know. I just remember being really awestruck by this game when I first played it, just because. It is what it is. However, I will say this for the game. It is... And this is going to be somewhat controversial, I think, for you guys. Is that yeah, I felt it hasn't aged super well. It's... It, don't get me wrong. It, it's done okay for itself, but... I don't find this one as fun as Yoshi's Island, like not even close, and I don't find it as fun as Super Mario Brothers 3 or Super Mario Brothers 2, in all honesty. It's a big world, and there's some cool stuff and everything, but it, it just doesn't hold that same appeal for me personally. Which is strange, given that, you know, everyone and their mother loves this game, and it's also... I'm gonna go on a limb here and guess that it's the most modded and hacked game out there. I know there's some PC games that have been really modded and hacked, but, uh... This particular one, uh, you know, I feel that it's probably gotten a little more than everyone else. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah. Yeah, let's jump on guys for points, because this is not a waste of our time at all. But it's points. Points are worth something. Slide! Whoa. I thought for a second he wasn't going to make it down in time. What's this say? Probably something really brilliant. Mm-hmm. See, that's good advice. Whee! Easy way to get this, by the way. <laughs> so anyway, Super Mario World. Fun times. All I know about Super Mario World is that it is awesome, and for some reason enemies turn into coins. I've never seen this legitimately explained to me before, why this happens. Why they felt this was a good change to make. Oh, crap. I wasn't even paying attention to where the bar was. <laughs> Smart. Anyway, that was the goal thing at the end. Get 100, you get stars for how high you hit it. For every 100 stars, you get to go to a bonus world where you get to, like, collect one-ups by playing a tic-tac-toe game. Pretty typical bonusy stuff. But for the time, I believe that was the first... Well, Super Brothers 2 had the bonusy thing. Super Brothers 3 had a bonusy thing. Okay, well, it was the first one to really hand out the one-ups, like, ad nauseum. Speaking of ad nauseum one-ups, this place here can just go nuts. How come I can't get a good sprint going here? Are you going to friggin' sprint for him? Why am I not sprinting? I couldn't get him, like, sprinting there. That was weird. That was just strange. Whee! Oh, wait. So, yeah. I explained the basics of this game, but you guys know the basics of this game. The, the baking of this game. You know the, how the baking of this game works. No, you're here to just see me play the damn thing. I like how Mario's like... It's like he's giving advice, like, Psst! Switch Palace! Power of the Switch will be pushed, will turn dotted into things, and progress will also be saved. Shh! Shh, don't tell anyone. It's a secret to everybody. And I'm not making some comment about how he's pooping on blocks, because that's just immature, guys. I'm not going to go there. That's not how I do, and I expect you to respect that. Do not disrespect that. Anyway, Yoshi's Island 2. Let's see what we got. Okay, good. I thought they were going to make me throw a thing. Oh, I tried to burn it. Didn't work. See, now we get those dotted blocks give up mushrooms. Hooray! And there's an egg, and wow. You seriously got, like, how, d yeah, I didn't want to know. I didn't want to know how I managed that. Yeah. So, something you can do with Yoshi is, if you press Y right as he runs into a, uh, into a, uh, a thing, an apple, he'll, he'll, he'll actually get credit for two, eating two apples. See, right there, I got credit for two apples. You hear, do do It's two. And if you do, it, you know, that allows you in some levels where you normally couldn't get enough apples aided for a bonus. God, this is falling apart. This is falling apart. Yoshi! Yoshi! 
Oh god, I got all hurt for nothing. Anyway, and you get 20 reds, you know, you get that super mushroom. That just allows you to get the super mushroom a little quicker. And if you get a Yoshi when Yoshi's on screen, you get a 1-up. Oh, I missed it. There we go. Let's eat a mole. A Monty Mole, as it were. Now, someone will correct me on this. Is this the first game with the Monty Moles? No, they were in 3, right? Or not? I totally cannot remember. I, I'm My Super Mario brain is kind of on uh, the lockdown right now. Not the good type of lockdown, either. The the lockdown that kind of leaves you asking questions like, why is this on lockdown? Yeah. Hey, did I just eat his, like, dirt exit? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Yeah! Eat... And plus, you get, an, you get a coin for everything you eat with Yoshi, so by eating the, the apple twice, you're technically, um, you know, doubling up your points there. Whee! Yeah! Take that round the wheel! Take that! Got 50 stars, and for a 50 star hit, which is the top, you also get a bonus of a 3-up. That's pretty sweet. That's not going to happen too often, just to warn you now. I just seem to recall around the wheel having trouble with that. What's this say? What's this say? Oh my god. Yeah, the first world has got a lot of advice like that, which is just basically Nintendo starting to move away from needing an instruction booklet to actually um, giving all the advice in-game. Which, some people will tell, will say to you, that's how games should be. Personally, I'm of, I'm of the thought that, provided they don't do forced tutorials on you where you can skip the stuff, uh, for subsequent playthroughs, or just when you're recovering the same ground, then I'm all for instructions in a game. But when you're forced to do a tutorial, then no, that that's not the way to do it. It should be instruction manual. If you're going to do the force thing, screw ya. We don't need that in games. Once we played it once, we know how to do it. If we want to relearn something, we can, you know? I think there might be like a pipe around here somewhere you can get into, but is it down here? Now there's this. There's the pipe. I knew there was one around here somewhere. Now what does this lead to? Is this one of those crazy bonus rooms? No, it's not really a crazy bonus room, is it? It is not. You'd be kind of screwed if you didn't get across here in time. Holy god. That could end very badly. Not for me, mind you. For other people. Because other people are the suck. What do you got to say? Uh-huh. Ah, see, that's good to know. Uh-oh. I hear a Meowenstein upstairs trying to make his his uh, re-entry into the video game world. Maybe he'll come down here. See, he thinks no one's home, so he's crying because of that. And that's just sad, really. He's a lonely kitty. But I am totally and utterly off topic. But hey, like I said, it's a game you don't need me to tell you about, per se. It's more... I didn't get enough coins to get a 1-up. Really? Really, game. Really. That's what you're going to go with? Oh, there's no charging chuck here. Oh, just got it. Yeah! All right. So that was good times. Good times in the leveling. Good times with the telemarketers. Craziness. All right. Moving on here with our lives. Now... Something I did not know until Round the Wheel once pointed this out to me. If you, wait, did I not high enough to get up there? There's like a ledge up here. And if you run along, you'll eventually pop a 1-Up Mushroom out of it. Where is it? There it is. Get back here. And you get yourself a 1-Up for free! Now let's go get, let's go get Mr. Wait, wait, wait. Normally when you try to jump, Brian, you should probably try to jump. I don't want to tell you how to run your business, Brian. Holy God. Yeah, I'm going to do real well at this, aren't I? All right, we got it. Let's get on with our lives. Let's go get our second coin. Let's go eat a spike ball here in a second. Where's the spike balls? Yeah, spike balls. I love the fact that Yoshi can eat those freaking mines. <laughs> it doesn't make a lick of sense. I think it's much larger than his head. Speaking of stuff he probably shouldn't eat. Oh no, bye Yoshi. <laughs> yeah. See, that's also good advice. See? Oh god. Oh god. I was really hoping this was a Yoshi for some reason. I'm like, yeah, it's Yoshi. No, it's not. I still don't get why there's uh, these guys just kind of flying around out here. Having their good time. Having their good time. All right, what do we got over here? Oh, we got a coin. We can't forget the coin. Coins are important. <laughs> that was amazing. Not going to lie. Well, so much for getting a 1-Up now. I'm going to have to uh, really work it here. But yeah, if you plow through enough enemies with a 1-up, or a 1-up, an invincibility star, you'll get a 1-up. And I believe that was new to this game. 
Oh, not quite. I got points. Yeah, right, I got one. Bonus. Ha <laughs> ha, sucker. Nice. Oh, so nice. And look at that, we get to play a bonus game already, and that's with missing the freaking bar on one level. Not my greatest moment, but that 50 definitely made up for it. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Alright, let's see how we can do. The one in the middle is always just one of the random three, and then you just gotta do a jump thing after that. And it looks like I am going to... Alright, I did okay. I only lost out on two. Four. Five. Six. Yay! Woohoo! Yeah! Oh, he kind of moonwalked into the wall there. You should be careful. Mary, you gotta be careful with that, buddy. That could get you killed. Killed real dead. You don't want to be killed real dead, do you? Anyway, on to Iggy's castle. Yeah, this world's pretty short. It really is a good introductory world to the world, and the game truly begins once you get to, uh... You get to the second world. Oh, I don't think so. This is another place you can rack up some one-ups by looking at Mario jiggle his fat Italian butt. And that's simply just done by, uh... Stomping on toitles. I'm not gonna quite reach that guy. That's okay though. We'll get this guy when he comes around the screen. Ha, <laughs> sucker. He just they just literally walk into his ass and it hurts them. It's funny. It's so power up up in there, but I don't want to jump off the, the chain fence here because I'll lose out of my chance to get some one-ups. And as we all know, if there's one thing Brysolf is about, it is one-ups. And why did that guy not come back around? Screw you two. And you can punch them by pressing Y or X. And you know, it's kinda mean, but Come on, you think about all the stuff Mario has done in his life as the super, you know, champion of the Mushroom Kingdom and all that? He's done some truly awful things. Truly, truly awful. Things that probably shouldn't be spoken about. So let's just go kill some more turtles. Because, you know, the victor writes the history books, and so far Mario hasn't shown much in the way of uh, recompense for a any of the horrible atrocities he's committed against the uh, Koopa clan, you know? He just hasn't done it. Has not been in his uh, ledger to get it done. And let's just run forward and oh my god, we're gonna die! <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I know you can duck in this hole to avoid one, right? Yeah. I think most of them you can probably run right across to the uh, right and not get squished, I think. I'm hoping. Yeah, like that. <laughs> oh lord. What a goofball I am. And this one too, right? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, that was close. Get off! Oh crap. Get off! Alright, fine. I'll just wait. I'll just wait. I can wait. There we go. You can jump on him, or you can shoot fireballs into him, but whatever way it's tilting when you hit him, that's the way he'll fly. So there we go. World 1 complete. I feel happy about how what we've progressed to today, don't you? And now begins a running gag of Mario destroying castles in various manners. This is the very conventional Muslim approach. And, you know, we, we applaud him for that. That's good. I mean, he does have that swarthy mustache, I'm just saying. He does what he do. It's how he do. how he do he? Maybe. Anyway, something about a castle and a friend and an egg, and you think they just hatch those guys out of there, but no, they leave them in there for the whole freaking game. Which is ridiculous. Yoshi gets to come out right away, but no, not his friends. They gotta stay in those damn eggs. Yoshi's a jerk. Anyway, guys, we'll see you next time for the start of the Donut Plains.